What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! <laughs> we got a massive Lyle Tool Hall. Just this little box. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't click off the video. I appreciate you guys. Just before I get to going any further, um, I don't want to. I don't want to bring down the octave of the video at all. But I appreciate you guys. Um, some of you guys that supported me uh, made some nice comments recently, and all you guys. I, I mean. I I don't really know what to say. I'm kind of uh I'm kind of uh, shell shocked still, and uh, I'm just uh, very humbled and very appreciative of you guys that said all the nice things you said. So give yourself a hand for that, and I I can't I can't thank you enough. It really meant a lot to me. Believe it or not, it meant a lot to me. It really did. So, anyways, let's jump into the video. Get into something more fun and exciting because the show must go on. And we got to put our happy face on because we got to get things going. We got some new Lyle tools and you're going to like it. If not, I hope you do because I'm, I'm pretty excited about these. But let's get in the video. Check them out. See what we got. Alrighty, the first new thing, whether or not I, some of you might be skeptical and I definitely want to hear your, your thoughts in the comment box. We have a 25 millimeter torque adapter for um, for your cup for your nut for your oil filter cups on your oil filters. It, uh, just an adapter, not the not the oil filter socket itself, but just a 25 newton meter adapter so that you won't over torque your filter cups on a lot of models. There's a lot of different models: Toyota, GM. You know the you know the strategy on that if you guys are using these or if you're just a DIY guy, this may come in handy to you. Me personally, I feel like I've got a good torquelator right here. This thing right here, I can just feel the ripums, twenty five. But I guess I could see the need for this in some applications because people are over torquing these things, and I have seen this quite frequently. In fact, the last one, not to call them out, but was the Walmart Lube Center where they actually. A, ram the o-ring out i don't know if i got a picture of that it's been a while now but they actually ran the oil the o-ring out of the oil filter and it was leaking oil simple fix for the customer on my end i just reinserted it put a new o-ring on it so on and so forth so kind of something to think about if you are not sure or un or if you're not very confident in yourself this could be a great little tool for you cheap little thing to add on to your home service or if you're a new guy you know, until you can get the feel for it, because as meager as this might seem, this is a good training device, nonetheless, to get you to understand what 25 Newton meters would feel like. So, yeah, uh, there's just my food for thought on that. But let's get into some more stuff, because we've got plenty of other things that we need to talk about for new Lyle tools. All right, we have the new Lyle 39 120 low profile fuel line disconnect tool for the Fords 516s and 38s. Now, if you guys know that you're working on 16s or your GT GTDIs, 6.2s, 3.5 liter Ecotex, 2010 or newer, you're going to know what this is and why you need it. It's flexible and it gets in there for those tight tight spaces. I will put a picture in here of this kind of being used, I guess. I haven't run across this. I'll be honest with you, I don't work on as many Fords. I was actually talking about this, discussing this with some other technicians, and I don't get as many Fords. Uh, so once in a while, I'll get a 3.5 Ecotec, but usually it's, I'm not going to lie, it's been shelled quite a few times, or they ran it into the dirt. But for some reason, I just don't get the, as many Fords as I guess I feel like I should sometimes. But anyways, it's still uh, a, a definite must-have tool if you are working on Ford 2010 or newer. Great tool to have. Our next cool tool from Lyle is a 39100 spring-loaded oil cooler line disconnect for, you guessed it, that's right, Ford. The 3 8 and half inch diameter, which would literally go on pretty much all of your cooler lines for any Ford, most, for most Fords that I know of. But these are the spring-loaded cooler line disconnect tools. I know. You know what, guys? I don't really love this stuff. I personally like bolt-in lines, but it is what it is. But I do like the fact that Lyle has turned these into their spring-loaded ones, 
and they're purple. So you can distinguish them quicker. Kind of one of those tools, affordable, and to add on to any of your disconnect sets, Ford Trans Cooler Lines, right there. Ford Trans Cooler Lines. All printed in there, nice and neat. Haven't had to use those yet, but I got them when I need them. And that's the whole point of having tools sometimes when you're working on stuff. You never know. If you, if you know that, you know that. I think Lyle is pretty excited about having these out. I'm not sure that you can actually get these from a lot of other places too. So, And you probably want to buy these up if you're a Ford technician because they're going to be probably going quick. All right, and the last thing that I got, which is not really the last thing, but I have three things that I want to show and talk about all at once. Heavy-duty application Pitman arm puller for your stubborn Pitman arms on your Shepard M110 steering gearboxes, Class 6 and 8 vehicles. This is the big dog right here. This is the big guy right here. Now, I technically don't work on a lot of heavy-duty stuff. Every once in a great while, I will help a friend out, you know, a farmer, whatever it is. And this big dog right here will come in handy because she is a hoss. And these things are super expensive from a lot of places. Somebody just asked me to talk or asked me about doing specialty pullers and whatnot. Well, here's the start of them right here. These are the type of pullers that, believe it or not, men are made of right here. Specialty puller. That is a big hammer if I've ever seen one. A couple of things to notate about using these pullers is, is that these are going to save you from damaging things. Uh, if, you have, don't, if you don't have the right puller for these, I will tell you from experience on medium-duty trucks, it's not fun. Okay, and, they have you, and Lyle has you covered on smaller versions too. Another Class 8, one we have here is another Pittman Arm M100 Shep, Shep, found on many of your Class 6, 8 vehicles. Another medium duty. This is a little step up here. Now, I also have the, the medium duty. This is the GM version. Well, this wouldn't be GM. It'd be Dodge 4500, Ford F450, 550, which I'm thinking these ones will too. They're both kind of interchangeable between them. You might need both of them. I know for a fact this is the one that will work on the GMs. Uh, that's why I have this one because the other one from other companies is closer to $400 for these Pitman arm pullers. These are extremely, extremely expensive. These are pretty well built machines right here. Acme forcing screw. If you don't know, that's the thread style on a screw is an Acme forcing screw. 32 millimeter nut. That's a little dirty. Sorry, folks. I didn't even realize that... Uh, yeah, 32 millimeter nut on all, both all of these. So, uh, yeah, half inch drive or three quarter, whichever you prefer. It is metric, not standard. But uh, these things are definitely a must have. If you've ever pulled a Pitman arm on a GM Ford, and I'm going to speak specifically to a GM because a 2500 is absolutely a criminal to get off. I'm not going to lie to you. It's harder to get off than a 90 year old at a strip club. Not going to lie to you. It is a pain in the butt. So these things should help tremendously to get those Pittman arms off. Just get it over. I'll throw a picture up of how this works in action. Uh, once again, these are new, so I haven't used them yet because they're just brand new coming out. So I have used the GM one, or I have used the Schley one. And who's the other one that makes one? I, you guys will have to help me. Snap-on makes has one, but it's not a Snap-on. It's Schley. So anyways, guys, pretty simple. Pretty easy going video, but uh, some definite important uh, tools for your heavy duty and medium duty, light duty, service work. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, get into that link quick as you can because some of this stuff probably be gone right away and other people will be following up with videos as always. You know, that's what we do here. Bring it to you first. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty. And your money clean. Thanks for watching.